Herbert Flick was my great uncle. It was his uh, vision to create a, a Flag Day parade. Herb was a veteran of World War I. Uh, he was a member of the American Legion in Three Oaks. A group of volunteers got together and they put a 20-unit parade together. Walking through town, you finished up at the American Legion and there was a horse tank full of ice and, and everybody that marched in the parade got a beer. And after years went by, it just kind of gradually grew. The Flag Day Parade is kind of like a kickoff to summer. It's like a reunion, it's like a homecoming. People that moved away from Three Oaks come home and they celebrate the weekend with us. There's family reunions, there's class reunions that are held at that time. We have a gentleman, um, Ernest Bachman, that comes every year from Virginia to participate in the parade. He drives his 2003, you know, 50 edition Corvette from Gum Spring, Virginia. And he drives the Flag Day Prince and Princess through the parade, and he's very proud of it. This year, we were going to honor him as the Grand Marshal. So we're going to do that next year, and it's going to be bigger and better next year for 2021. We're honoring our veterans, our men in service of all wars, the flag, obviously our country, and um, the freedoms that were not given to us free. It's so wonderful to see the spectators stand when the veterans go by and to show their respect. Such a nice honor. They've been getting together with their same friends over the years, riding on those floats. You know, I think about the camaraderie that they have built over the years. It's amazing to watch and amazing to hear the stories that they share with each other. And, and, and each year, you know, it's kind of the same group. Three Oaks has a long history of patriotism, most famously in the Three Oaks Against the World campaign of 1898-1899. The U.S. was fighting in the Spanish-American War. The National Monument Committee had held a fundraising contest to raise money for a monument to honor servicemen who had died in that war, and the prize was a cannon captured by Admiral George Dewey's forces in the Battle of Manila. Three Oaks, urged on by local industrialist E.K. Warren, won that contest, raising $1.41 per resident. The triumph won the community nationwide acclaim, and President McKinley even came to town to extol the patriotism of the residents in 1899. The next year, thousands flocked to the village for a red, white, and blue unveiling ceremony for the cannon. And six decades later, some who had attended that ceremony would ride in the Flag Day Parade. Oh yeah, you can't grow up in Three Oaks and not be in that parade. If you're in it sometime through your childhood, you are in that parade. Yeah, I think my first time in the Flag Day Parade was about 1965. I would have been 13 years old. I was beside myself and so proud to be coming down Main Street in a horse and buggy and everybody cheering and it was, at a, uh, somebody young, that, that's an impression that never leaves you. I believe I started my first parade when I was a freshman in high school, which would be like 1977 in the River Valley Marching Band. 1991, I was Miss Three Oaks, so I was um, uh, on the float. I've marched in the parade, I've done, you know, been in the parade for State Farm, I've been in the parade for the 4-H Club, I've been in the parade for the Auxiliary. One year we got a new horse and buggy, and the pony got to the railroad tracks and he wouldn't cross the railroad tracks and he held up the whole parade. <laughs> when you're marching in the parade, I think people are always yelling out, hey, they'll yell out your name and they'll wave and they always want you to throw the candy to them. Or 
and I've marched with the Masons for the last 14, 15 years, and uh, it's an honor to be in it. I get a special feeling out of it just because my great uncle started it. As long as I can do it and be associated with it, I'm going to. The uh, parade always seems to be bigger, more units um, on election years. Uh, and that's because we have all the candidates that are wanting to be in the parade. When I first took it over, they could have all these people with them and walk down the parade and hand out all this stuff. I'm like, look at all this trash. What have I done? I was mortified. So I was not a very popular person that next year when I said, everybody has to be in their car and you can't hand out anything. <laughs> Another tradition that has developed over the years is the competition of the red and green tractors. We've got the John Deere's and we've got the internationals. Who's got the most tractors in their, in their group? Who's got the oldest tractor? Who's got the biggest tractor? It's just a great tradition that they've just kind of competed going back and forth. Yes, there probably is some tractor tra trash talk, I'm sure. The Three Oaks Baseball always has a Flag Day tournament. And I coached. You wanted to win the Three Oaks Flag Day tournament so the Three Oaks boys could represent the being the champions coming through the, the parade. So one of the great things about winning the Flag Day tournament, you get to bring your water guns and your water balloons and you can just cool everybody off and just soak who, who you know. I mean, those kids love it. fame is that we're the largest Flag Day Parade in the nation. We are the nation's largest Flag Day Parade. We've kind of checked it out. There is another Flag Day Parade. And it's in Wisconsin. They're older than we are, so they're the oldest and we're the largest. So I'm pretty proud to always keep it over 100 units, you know, so we can always uh, keep our largest in the nation. <laughs> We wanted to put this on TV is for people to see the enthusiasm that we have for it and the patriotism that has been here in Three Oaks. My uh, great uncle Herb Flick would be amazed if he saw the Flag Day Parade today. a couple conversations in his kitchen over coffee or a beer and today seeing that we're a hundred units strong and from all over he's looking out down at all of us and with a big smile on his face and say man i'm glad it's still going i think that the flag day parade makes three oaks very special it showcases our quaint little town. It is part of our history that has made Three Oaks what it is today.